Hi, this is Rish Outfield. And Big Anglovich. And this is That Gets My Goat. Fanfare. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Welcome, everybody, to That Gets My Goat. <laughs> we need, like, the fake studio audience to clap. It's the old, thank you, thank you. It's the old ladies from Monty Python. <laughs> yes, welcome again, everybody, to the bitch fest that is that gets my goat. Have you? Has your goat been gotten recently, Rich Outfield? It's constantly being gotten. Oh. It is in the process of getting itself right now. How do you deal with your goat being violated so often? You build up calluses, really. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I, I can't really. I'm not uh, going to complain a great deal today. Not when you have so many lovely things that you want to I've get off your chest. I've got that have been gotten left and right. Rish and I today, b before we uh, got together here to start recording, we were having our pregame meal. We happened to go by Wendy's today, and Rish got himself the, the cup. I don't know what size, large or medium. Mediums seem to be larges these days, so it's probably just a medium. But it came with the contest. You could win a con. It's the big score because the cup is sitting right over there, over Rish's shoulder. I can see it. It's the big score contest, and with this contest, you can win something. I don't know what I'm assuming. It's football related because the cup is green and has hash marks on it. And the way you play this contest is there's a code on the cup, and you go to their website and you enter the code. And find out if you win. Now I was asking Rish if he's ever done that. And he said, never, ever. It just seems like too much trouble to be able to win Mean Joe Green's jersey. But have you ever gone on and entered one of those contests? I've tried it a few times. But see, that's the thing that gets my goat about this whole bit. You take that code and you go to their website, right? And you enter in the code. And we'll just have that as the opening screen. Enter your code here to find out if you win. You enter your code in, and then it goes to the next screen. It says, before we tell you if you've won, please sign in. Give us your name, address, phone number, email, credit score, three references, etc., etc. It just goes on and on. It wants every bit of information about... Fill up this cup. <laughs> And then, if you do all that, then it will tell you whether you've won. And, of course, it's just going to say, nope, sorry, you didn't win. But prepare your spam filter, because we will be assaulting you soon. Pisses me off, and I don't know why. I, I guess these companies that make these products think, hey, we're getting a bunch of people we can advertise to by doing this or something. Well, do you feel like there are tons of other people like you that... Say, I'm not even going to bother to see if I've won. Because it's not like a scratch-off card. Right. It's not like collect these three symbols and you win. Gather three sixes <laughs> and the mark of the beast is complete and you win a Happy Meal. Oh, I totally feel it's that way. Nobody, it's, I'm it, sure, okay. enters these contests. But that's probably a lot of the case it always was. I mean, how many people... It's like that crap, no purchase necessary, and then you can... Send them a self-addressed stamped envelope and they'll send you back a game piece or something like that, which, you know, nobody does except for, imagine. did you ever see that movie Real Genius? I didn't. Oh, there's the contest. I don't know what it was, the Fritos contest or something. And it's like it said, enter as often as you like. And so I, I did. And he entered like a million times or something like that. I calculate that I should win 43.7% of the prizes. And then at the end, he did win. And he's like, but I only won 39.7% of the prize. Something happened to my calculations. But anyway, sorry, that's a side to the point. But, you know, on top of that, even worse, they'll have a, a contest where they're like, oh, yeah, come and find out if you won. And you go there and they're like, come to our Facebook page to find out if you won. And you go to their Facebook page and they're like, to find out if you won, just become a friend of Pepsi. Become a friend of Redbox or whatever. And so you have to become a friend. And most people, you know, despite the hubbub and uproar about how all their privacy was being violated by Facebook again and again. And so they made different settings and made it easier for you to protect yourself. Most people still don't. So when they go on there and they make Wendy's their friend, now Wendy's is mining their data and finding ways to make money off them and steal from them and i well probably not steal i, I won't say that because wendy's gonna have uh, 
a, a Sony lawyer call me up and shut this whole thing down. So I don't want to do that. But Besides, you and I are big fans of Wendy. We are. Yeah, I would go true. there every single week if I could. And in the old days, we once, we'd used to. That's true. Yeah, and I'm sure those days, those halcyon days will come again. Yeah, th- th- that just drives me crazy for some reason. You know, like Redbox had a contest, or I don't know if it's, I guess it is a contest. You rent a uh, a movie from them, and then you come home and you enter the code that's on your movie into their website and find out if you win. But if you don't win, you still get a free rental out of it. But to get the free rental, sign in with Facebook. For our uh, dentally challenged listeners across the pond, Redbox is a little video store kiosk that have popped up all across the western edge of America. And western it's basically rim, the galactic job. rim. And uh, talk, basically, talk, you just <laughs> 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 it it has several. It's a vending machine with DVDs in it, and you can rent them for a dollar. And uh, return them the next day. The, the best thing about these red boxes is you don't have to return the disc at the same kiosk where you rented right, it. Right, that is very That is good. just amazing. You can return one in a different state and it still records it and says, hey, thank you. you. And that's how you get different movies in different places sometimes. You get a better selection by uh, randomly returning them to odd places. Okay, but yes, continue with what so, you So, yeah, saying. that's what you got to do to get your free rental. Sign in with Facebook. And I was just like, Gah, I can't stand this. And so, of course, I signed in with Facebook, and then I went right to my settings and found the application that they'd installed and rejected it because I don't want anybody peeping in under my drawers oh my <laughs> <laughs> see what i've got down there so that's not stuff that i want to be available to every company and i suppose those days are probably going away where we actually have privacy and uh but yeah you know even even mountain dew for example they had their and it's not even this is a purely a promo it's not a contest you can't win shite off of this thing but they made their three new flavors and you taste them and decide which one you like best. And then you can go to their Facebook page and vote. But you got to go and you become their friend and allow them to have access to all your innermost secret thoughts. And then you can vote on their damn thing. Dude, who gives a crap? I don't, maybe they think they're preventing somebody from... Rigging it? Yeah, voting a thousand times or something. Setting up some script that's just going to keep voting for the one they like the most or the one they like the worst did you ever uh, hear about that deal that they used to do <laughs> they do that on american idol every year there's like vote for the worst.com or something like that and uh these people would get together and just I, I don't know if they were doing it to be mean or to be funny or to just f up american idol and hopefully make it go away but they would always encourage oh. people to vote for the very worst person on there so that that person would keep returning and the show would suck worse and worse you know and the good people would go away and this like that what was that guy's name i think it was sanjaya or something like that who was apparently really bad but he kept coming back week after week, and I saw on the news that they claimed that, you know, that, well, this website claimed at least that they had a hand in that. I don't know if that still goes on, but, you know, maybe that's what people would do just to F up Mountain Dew is they'd get on there and vote for the nastiest, dis- most disgusting flavor. <laughs> and then Mountain Dew would have to start producing that. That kind of goes without saying <laughs> for Mountain Dew, though. <laughs> I like Mountain Dew, so there... Although this year's little flavors that you voted on, they were all good, and I'd be happy drinking any of them. But last year's three flavors, they were all nasty, and I didn't even bother to consider voting because I didn't want any of them back. But was, do they stick around? I mean, how? They did. You know, the flavor, the, the Mountain Dew that I like the best is the Code Red flavor because I think it's really good. But that's been around for years. Yeah, it has. That's what I'm saying. It's been around for a long time, and it's always what I like to get. And they would always sell that because it's like their second most popular one. They have the regular and then they have the Code Red. And you could get it in a two-liter bottle, right, at any old Walmart or grocery store or whatever. And all of a sudden, after that last year's stupid contest and the nasty flavors came out, that Code Red got replaced by this blue one. And I don't know what the name of it is because I never got it because I don't like it. It's nasty. But it's replaced Code Red. So you have to buy like the 
expensive friggin' 12 pack just to get it or, or something anymore. It just irritates me. So maybe vote for the worst.com or whatever they were called. One on that one, too. Yeah, well, uh, everything is done on the internet now, and and so often somebody will forward you a funny video or a song or whatever, right, and Great Dane. that that happens too. <laughs> and lots of times they'll have the little option for like or for dig or recommend this or review this or whatever, but they're so complicated to just give something thumbs up. You there isn't just a button where you hit it and it's like thank you. Here's I, you gave this four out of five stars. You have to sign in. Yeah. You have to create a password. <laughs> they have to send an email to your box <laughs> your... and you verify a half that... hour later that you got it, that this is an actual email account and do it within <laughs> a, a window of time and then go back to wherever that was and do it again after you've signed. I, I, come on, man. That's I, the same thing with the contest. You have to do all that crap, which is why I don't bother with any of them. But yeah, it's like, okay, you sent me a picture of your kids dressed as as Hitler, Himmler, and Dr. Mengele, and I wanted to hit that I liked it, and there's just, it's not worth it. Sent you that, when I sent you that picture of my kids wearing those masks with the blood dripping off the knives. That was really cool. <laughs> that My respect for you just skyrocketed when you forced your children into this little tableau of hillbilly murder, which is lovely. But uh, no, another thing, though, and you're as much to blame for this as anybody, is you read somebody's blog or somebody's message board or whatever, and you think, oh, I'm going to comment, or I'm going to say, hey, keep up the good work. And it gives you these twisted, deformed oh, yes, letters in those. a nonsensical order. It's not a word. It's like think or anything like that. It's argument. And and you look at it and there's sometimes like double exposure and some letters are crossed onto others and that and you're like can you and it's like no no dumbass. That was wrong. It was I hate that so much. It's just like, oh, no, I've wasted 30 seconds of my old age. I will be dead <laughs> that much earlier because I tried to figure out what these letters were and it wouldn't let me through. And I just wanted to say, you know, keep on trucking or something on somebody's blog. On Hang in Big, there. Friday's on, coming, baby. On my friend Big Anklevich's blog. Where it's just like, you know, that's all right. Two of your kids are cute. And it won't <laughs> let me publish it. I do hate those things, man. <laughs> but – Conversely, if you don't have one of those MC Escher figure out, you know, uh -huh. do you see an old woman or a young woman in this picture? <laughs> if you don't have that kind of code on there, then suddenly these a-hole spam people right. will put things that and, – and sometimes they're clever about it and it almost looks like they read your blog. And it's like, very interesting. I look forward to more postings from you. And you're like, oh, well, thank you. My girl likes to party all the time, 69. But then other times it's in... Russian. It's in hieroglyphics. <laughs> it's just gibberish. It's like 47 lines of HTML. And you're like, oh, how did this end up here? And the guy commented 18 times. <laughs> um, and you have to go through and clean them up because you didn't have your thing set to take care of it for you. Yeah, that... And, you know, I've had some where they were in Russian. And I'm just like, could it be possible... That we have listeners in Russia? <laughs> and, and I've actually gone, you know, gone to that, what is it, the Babel fish or whatever it is that you can go to and translate stuff? Uh -huh. I've actually gone and, and tried to translate this Russian to see what the hell they might be saying to see if it could possibly be a legitimate comment. But eventually I just realized, you know what, no, that's not legitimate. This is crap. And, and sometimes they'll get on there and it's like, your penis is small and <laughs> shriveled like sea jellyfish. And they'll be like, wow, how did they, th this has I mean, to be somebody know I know. Me. You know, it's like, this is, this is one of the three people that have seen me naked or they're selling something or, or, or I can't figure out got a what they're to trying to do. a Canadian pharmacy where you can get Viagra for cheap. That's true. Well, and some of them, though, it's just too obtuse. I guess they work for some company that just wants their name out there or something like that. And so I can't tell what it's trying to sell. I can't tell what it's trying to say. <laughs> Spending too much time thinking about it, Rish. It's just 
delete just hit it and delete it you know what i think is interesting and i'm sure you've probably gotten these because it seems like everybody's email account gets this at least once or twice and i don't know what you do i guess you email your who does your email and say hey somebody hijacked my account here but you get these emails where all of a sudden there's one and it's from somebody you know but there's no subject line it just says no subject and you click on it and it's just a link there's nothing else in the email, and then you look, and it's been sent out to like 10 or 15 people or something that presumably must all be on this person that you got the email from's contact list. And some, and if you click on the link, it'll take you like a Canadian pharmacy or something like that. Get drugs cheap here. But yeah, I don't know how that happens, but that happens. I've I, I've known at least 10 people probably that that's happened to, or I just get these emails, and it's like, oh. And I usually send them an email saying, hey, your account's been hijacked. I, the funny thing is, I think the first time that that happened to me, it was sent through my wife's sister's account, who lives in Canada. Rectus Dominus! And I think she actually works for a Canadian drugstore. <laughs> well, then it's it her wasn't, fault. It wasn't this Canadian drugstore. This was just some, well, we're every- actually just selling you placebos or worse. Drain cleaner, right. tablet form. <laughs> Drain them over the internet. Well, it's, what's worse is like once or twice a year, I will get an email from myself. It's from my own email address. And you open it and there's a link and you click on it and it's like, our lovely schoolgirls are actually men. And I'd be like, wow, <laughs> like, why, why would I have sent this? this to myself? I must have really wanted to remember this site. I mean, so this guy really knows what I'm into. But yeah, it's just <laughs> – uh, it's got to be some program that somebody creates where it you know, bounces it back or something like that. But I – yeah, I get those too. Uh, one one email account that I have that just got totally hijacked. It got so inundated with that kind of spam where it says it's from myself. I, I had to stop using it because I can't even find real emails. All right, well, our uh, Doonstief shared email account always has stuff in the spam. Every single time I log in, yeah. I guess what happened was somebody, and we won't say her name, <laughs> put our email address for submissions or, or editor on some program that was scooped up by yeah, one of these put it somewhere online see when we i'd already had my old email this one that i talked about that i had to stop using because it got so inundated i'd already had that happen to me before we started the dune steve so i knew not to put my email address just on the web page so when we did the web page i would always do just email us at editor and then i would make a space and then i'd put at in like parentheses so you know what i'm talking about but i don't make it look like an email address because there's just bots that just search the internet all right ot you asshole it's you (laughs) that is actually how he makes his living scours the internet for anything that looks like an email address and then they as soon as they just finds them puts them in a list and then the spam just starts coming your way and uh i wonder do people that send out spam make money somehow are they all just well they better artists just make tons and tons of money because they're gonna go to hell no matter whether you're buddhist you know you don't believe in hell you know you believe in you're reincarnation anyway. you believe it you know that, that that this is just like there there is a hell for people like that specially created so i hope it, it spontaneously was created when the big bang happened even for atheists that don't believe that there is a god it was created in the big bang i don't know i ho- I, I hope they do make some money somehow but if they do make money, that that would only encourage there to be more people to do it. I don't understand how they can. Because, I mean, seriously, who is going to get the money off of this? Is there really somebody going, oh, yeah, there's Schoolgirls Isle Man. Well, I'm going to that site. I've been looking for one like that. Well, I see, I don't know how those things work either. Because nowadays, it, it may be that I'm old enough that I'm just too savvy and all that. But when the Internet first started and it's like, do you want to see George Clooney's penis? Give us your credit card number. And I'd be like, really? I, it's a debit card. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm like, well, but I'm just, I'm curious. Oh, no, no, we don't ask any questions here. And all I say, so, you know, John when you're Lovitz. young and you, you I don't didn't know that John Lovitz was into that. Oh, you have no idea. And so maybe there are new kids popping up all the time that have got their first credit card or whatever. And, 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 and it's just curiosity or something like that. Maybe when you reach the age that, that we are now, we're not as curious about certain <laughs> things. It, it's impossible to say. I do hope they make money just like you. But I, you know what else I hope I they get? I don't hope they make money. I hope they die. Genital warts. Yes. 
on their face. Is that possible, or does it have to? Anyways, here's another thing that kind of go? kind of goes along with that. There's those people that will forward every one of those stupid emails that come along, right? The this is where President Obama really was born, right, or right, like Bill those. Gates is going to give you a free laptop, right? Both of those, anything you know, they get, they'll just forward along, and then. Maybe we've talked about this on that Get My Goat. Now that you we may have, but who cares? I'm going to say it again, and if, we, if it's too similar to the old thing, then you can just edit it out. And then there's those people that, like, overzealously debunk all of the uh, spam that's floating around out there. All of those stupid forwards that say, oh, Obama was actually born in Nigeria or whatever. I think and he, he was born in Hawaii. Yeah, I, I, he shouldn't be the president, and that's, that's just not okay. But anyways, you know, there's those people that they, they like have Snopes.com as their number one like bookmarked site. And as soon as they get one of those, they go right there and check out if it's see if it's valid. And when they find out that it isn't, then they send an email to everybody who also got that forward that was in, you know, they reply all. And it's like, actually, this is crap. And you're stupid. And, and that bothers it. you? No, I just see, think Because I thought you had an aunt. That uncle, was doing yes, that. Because do. you'll get these effed up emails that says, <laughs> this is what the Obama administration or the Bush administration, whatever you want to say, is changing about the Pledge of Allegiance. Or it's like <laughs> coins are going to have swastikas on them. Or it's like all children are going to be forcibly, I, I almost said sodomized, but for, <laughs> sorry. forcibly neutered. Yeah. All children with dark skin are going to be forcibly circumcised. And I'm just like, well, what this is just... Well, how could anybody believe this? <laughs> but yeah, I just think it's funny because, you know, they're just like the opposite end of the spectrum of the spammer type people. There's the people that are normal, like, I, I guess we could say you and I are normal. I don't First know. time, folks, I've ever been included in but the group called normal. People like us where that comes, and for the most part, we don't even click on it. You don't even click to see what's included in the email. You just delete it. See it? Oh, there's another one from dad and mom. Delete that one. Boy, I wish they'd actually write something to me. That would be cool, but okay. And then the next one comes. And, oh, yeah, just delete that one. That's what most people do. And there's the one person out there that's spamming the entire world. And then there's the other person on the other end of the spectrum that it's like their, their life's mission to stamp out this evil, to put a stop to all of these crazy, crazy things that are being circulated. But I like that person. People are stupid, man. <laughs> and just they're willing to believe the worst or they're willing they're to... willing to believe that they can get some money if they forward that email on. <sighs> Because Bill Gates well, is going to give him a laptop? It's just like, you know, how many of those silly... It's not even you're going to get money, but it's just like, a girl didn't forward this email. Oh, those. And her vagina was eaten by rats. And you're just like, ew, dude, that's not right. You're a seven-year-old girl. You shouldn't even know what rats are. I don't know. I, 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 we try not to get into politics on the regular podcast. And that's why I said Obama and Bush, because I want to offend everybody equally. <laughs> But the the crap that my parents happened to have heard from somebody in the neighborhood or somebody over at the, the post office said that's going to happen in the next little while, whether it's religious people that said it, whether it's somebody that's in the know in the Obama administration, <laughs> anybody who's not Muslim is going to have to wear armbands and stuff like that. And it's just like, hell, why would you repeat this story to anyone? Because that's just not plausible is it that they want it to be true? Is that what it is? So that they have an excuse to hate? Could be. I don't know. I think someday we will be as old as our parents. I wonder how we will be. Oh, I'm way older than my parents. Oh, but interesting. At heart, I don't think so. My dad was born. He came out and he was like 47. And then he aged backwards like Benjamin Button. That movie went away. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, it should have. We talked about that, about special effects. And by the time that episode hit the air, <laughs> nobody People even remembered entirely that that movie that existed. Movie. And, even after it won an Oscar of some... Didn't it win some sort of an Oscar, at least? I think it won special uh, makeup special. or effects or something. Special makeup effects. Those effects were pretty good. They were, yeah. Brad Pitt even looked young again at the, at the point when he was supposed to be younger than he actually was, which was pretty weird. So, um, we've kind of rambled a bit. 
I got lost. I, I think I had some points to make about like the people that made a, a purpose. Well, I, I I had to go in a place where snows. we weren't supposed to go. But that's okay. It's not really important if we were really going somewhere. I think there's rather often that we start to make points that we never finish in our rambling. So yeah, you know, companies out there, stop with the damn enter your code after you enter your name, make a password, etc., etc. contests because. It's not gaining you fans. It's losing, dude. I don't. I don't want to be a part of of any of that. Someday I may actively boycott products that treat me in such a way. So there's that. Okay. Well, hey, thank you for listening to the final episode of that gets my goat. <laughs> I've been Rich Outfield, and I am Big Anglovich. <laughs> you know what gets my goat? That this show is produced under your Creative Commons 3.0 license. Why would you bother?